Alright, so we've been playing with some top side stuff today, alright, and I learned I learned a lot of this from uh, one of my buddies Stephen Whittier, alright, SPG East Coast. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about killing the frame real quick, okay? And what I wanna do when I'm killing the frame is just get my hip underneath. The moment I get my hip underneath or elbow, I can start to use nothing but hip. Okay, and so you know how, like a lot of times, if you've been doing jujitsu for a little while, right? You kill a frame, and then you get here, and she does a little bump, and now the frame's in again, and it's this back and forth fight. Okay, so what I like to do is I call it an arm sandwich. Okay, and essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get underneath this, and now I'm gonna use my hips to walk out and sprawl on her head. Okay, and now from here, try to get your arm back. It's gonna be very difficult for her. Notice I'm on my toes, my knees are not touching the mat, I'm just driving in with my hips here. Okay, now, her escape from this position is actually gonna be to move her body up, right? Boom, exactly. So once I'm here, right, it's hard to get a cross face. So rather than a cross face, what I'm gonna do is what I call a toilet bowl plunger. My pressure is gonna be on the top of her head and it's gonna be pushing it down, right? So that she tries to escape up and it doesn't happen. Okay, now from here I'm focused on this frame, right? I've got submissions for here, I've got submissions for here, if it's underneath, and I've got submissions from here. Okay, if it's the wrist to the trachea, sorry baby, <laughs> if it's the wrist to the trachea, what I'm gonna focus on is trapping her elbow on the mat with my shoulder, boom. And now from here I'm gonna give myself a haircut, capture her arm, and scoop back. Okay, when I scoop back, I'm gonna transition to what I call an X-Factor Americana. Okay, so when I Americana the traditional way, right, I'm going to the end of my, my levers and there's gonna be a lot more movement to get the finish. Okay, when I go X factor hands, I still trap the hand, try to extend your arm to defend. Okay, can't do it. And now there's less range, right? There's less range of movement to get the finish. Bam. Okay, super, super tight. Okay, so again, this series from the top, you can use any one of these separately, right? Clearing the arm, and I'm doing my arm sandwich here. Okay, now of course, if it's on this side, I've got step around arm bars, I've got kimuras, I've got all kinds of stuff. If she's got her elbow here, I can start transitioning into arm triangles. Okay, but for right now, we're going wrist on the trachea. I'm gonna drive through, boom, right? I'm pressing her elbow on the mat with my shoulder. I'm gonna slice my face, scoot back, right? And the reason I'm scooting back is so that I can give this arm the range of motion that it needs. If I'm way up here, I can't move the arm, right? So I'm gonna scoot back here. I wanna test it, see if she can extend her arm, go ahead, try to escape, do anything. She says no, boop, get my finish, okay? That's the series we're working today.